We are back at the EPA for our second visit this year, 2023. We just arrived about a half an hour ago. We're all set up. Jackie was here to help finish up the fence, make sure we had water. She brought me some supplies too. That was nice. And uh, the goats are already going to town here. Hi, Janora. How are you? Yeah, having a good time? We were back at the farm for an extended stay. The goat coach had a couple of issues that needed to be addressed. One of which was uh, one of the rear axles that I had replaced the brakes on started leaking. So I had to replace the seal so we would stop losing differential fluid. And that's all done. But on our last ride home, the issue we had was we lost the radiator. Uh, it was very old and crumbly. And I know you probably can't see it in there right now, but there's a nice brandy dandy new one. Not crumbly when you touch it. And uh, the temperature and everything is running good. Uh, it was about a 45 minute ride to get here and all went very well. We do have one last repair to make that I know of before the end of the year. I might do it here. Um, but other than that, we're doing well. And just happy to be back here and back out on the road. A week at home with these guys when they want to be out goatscaping can be quite trying. In case you were wondering, that is the view from our bed. Hi, right, Birdie. Liberty's hanging out up there right now. And inside we have Richie. You're awfully close, buddy. Kevin's over there. Jacob's right here. Hi, Jacob. Oh, we got a monster coming. Cinnamon monster. But our view is quite pleasant, very nice. Some of the goats are still out working. It looks like the last three are coming back now. The one with the crazy look in the lead, that would be Sokka. There's Sokka, followed by Aang and the ever relaxed Frankie. Now we have Jacob and Liberty on the bed. But the butt. And I'm pretty sure Jacob would like me to open this. So you can see out his window. He likes to watch everybody. Hi Jacob. I can lower that window too for you after. Frankie's been doing a little bit better. As you can see, he's not quite as skinny. Um, I think once we take care of his thymoma, he's got a little growth right here. It's not as big as his Uncle Jay's was, so I want to get that taken care of as quickly as possible before it does become a real problem. Everybody else is doing well also. Rayvon has put on quite a bit of weight. Hey Rayvon. So everybody's healthy, doing well here on GOAT Team 1 and eating as much as they can here at the EPA. Hey everyone, this is day four for us here at the EPA. Um, it's our second visit this year. The goats are actually making progress even though of the four days we've been here, it has been raining for three. It's rained most of today. Right now, it's not raining, so everybody's out eating as fast as they can, just in case it starts raining again. The goats have already finished the first area beyond the bus up there. That caused a little bit of a problem because they finished it during the rain and we had not gotten this section of fence set up yet which led to them getting into the neighbor's yard because they just felt like they should leave and go help the neighbor who didn't appreciate it at all 
um, normally if the goats get out and they were out for less than a few minutes but usually when that happens um, somebody comes over or I notice right away I happen to be inside making the bed when they got out and I hadn't noticed right away but I noticed somebody walking towards the bus so I immediately went out and as I went to say hi and greet the, the lady who had come to tell me that the goats were in her yard, I saw the goats were in her yard and yelled for them to come back. But I think it was her husband. He had a few choice words and he was very angry. Um, probably not the way to approach me by yelling and swearing at me. So I, I, you know, I became a little bit of a Karen. It was like a Karen face off, but he, uh, once I started throwing his words right back at him, he went in the house. The goats were already back in their area and I was fixing the fence. So no big issue there. Uh, it just would be nice if people could be polite, right? Thank you.